Good to see you. The First Minister of Scotland and the leader of the SNP, a politician with huge power, profile and influence. But today, a husband and father, at a loss over how to protect his family, caught up in the Israel-Hamas war. I cannot tell you, Beth, how powerless and helpless I feel. After Hamza Youssef posted this video of his mother-in-law, Elizabeth, trapped in Gaza. This will be my last video. Everybody from Gaza is moving towards where we are. Where's humanity? Where's people's hearts in the world to let this happen at this day and age? May God help us. Goodbye. Do you fear that you'll never see them again? We look at our phones every night. My wife will look at our phone every hour because at night is when we're most distressed, as you can imagine. Um, and, and I do not know, I genuinely do not know if I will see my mother-in-law and father-in-law again. Nadia doesn't know if she's going to see her mum and dad again. How do you explain this to your little daughter about her grandparents? For my four-year-old, Amal, we tell her that Granny is scared of the thunder and she keeps asking to speak to her gran and you know, at times we can get through and most of the time we can't. And then she keeps asking us, is Granny still scared of the thunder? We're saying she's still scared of the thunder. And, um, you know, she asked, uh, you know, she asked last night, well, will Granny be back for Halloween? Because my, my daughter loves Halloween like every kid loves Halloween. And uh, my gran, uh, sorry, my mother-in-law uh, helps with the face painting every Halloween. And um, my honest, I mean, we said, of course, she will be back. But in my heart, I, I don't know if she will. Have you spoken to the Prime Minister about it? Have you asked him to help? I'm disappointed, yeah. I have to say, that James Cleverley himself hasn't been in touch. So the Foreign Secretary hasn't been in touch, the Prime Minister hasn't been in touch? No, neither of them. Away from Gaza, the SNP's prospects and polling in decline. Even so, the leader wants to talk up the prospect of a second independence referendum. Are you now considering moving from most seats to majority of seats for the so mandate? If it was the most seats, you could get 24 and Labour could get 23 and then you could claim a mandate. I mean, that would be ludicrous, wouldn't it? If you win the most seats, you tend to, to if you win the most seats, you tend to be the winner you've of the what, general election. You've got 48 election. seats at the moment. You can't possibly say we've got justification to call for a referendum. The party that wins the, the most seats tends to be declared the winner of that general election. And then you can push forward with the mandate that you have in your manifesto. But politics on the back burner in the face of personal pain. What really matters to this man is getting his family out of Gaza. Beth Rigby, Sky News, Glasgow.